Welcome to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ledke, and I'm here today with President Andy Breidenfeldt of the Frazee Sportsman's Club. Hi, Andy. Hi, Hank. How's it going? Tremendous. It's that time of the year again, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's getting to be that close time again, uh, March 15th, the Frazee Sportsman Club raffle. Yeah, down here at our Frazee Event Center. And uh, we'll be starting that day at... Uh, drawings will be starting at 7 o'clock, but we'll be opening the doors, what, at 5.30? Yep, 5 o'clock, actually. And uh, be food available on the premises? Yes, there will be a lot of food there, uh, chips, uh, I do believe we have even barbecue or hot dogs. And, of course, with the raffle, you know, we always have things that we give away. Some of our standard things are like this gun safe sitting behind me here. And, uh, of course, the Sportsman's Club, we only put out a set amount of tickets, you know, that we sell. And how many tickets do we put out every year that we try to sell, Andy? Well, we have a 1,000, but we usually sell about 650 to 700. So your chances of winning one in the six prizes is phenomenal. Plus, we have door prizes available, too. And you're going to have something uh, that we haven't done for a few years now. You want to tell our people out in TV3 land what that is? Yes, we are actually going to be having a puppy uh, from Whispering Oaks Kennel from, I do believe he's from Dent, uh, John Brayton. He is going to be donating a 10-week-old yellow lab puppy, choice of gender. He's actually going to bring both a male and a female and the buyer, whoever is the highest, will get choice. Um, they are they will be uh, 10 weeks of age, born January 8th. Um, the dew claws are removed. They will have both shots as well. And for anybody who has information on the parents, um, the male, the father, is 30, 34 to 35 inches uh, from the back and weighs 75 pounds, and the mother is 28 inches at back with a weight of 55 pounds. So the puppy will be a nice, decent size when you at full grown. So it's an AKC. AKC registered, yes. This is quite a deal. You know, we did dogs the other year, and uh, I think it was about three years ago. Uh, I think it had been either four or five years old. Oh, see, o- old t- time goes faster. Yes. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's, it's always a great thing. And, and we appreciate all of you that come to the Frazee Sportsman's Club annual raffle because this is our main fundraiser, and we donate to a lot of things. We, we work with Frazee Robotics, we have FFA, Scouts, uh, North Country Trail Association, uh, local Laurentian Lakes chapter. We've been the main sponsor for them for five years in this area for that 4,600-mile uh, cross-country walking trail. And so we do a number of projects. Uh, we have Jim Hen and uh, 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 Jerry Molson that work on uh, wood duck houses every year, go out and change out the bedding in these things. So we've got, about, I think, about 250 wood duck houses out in the area. Yes, about 250 to 300 at least. But uh, the other big thing, of course, is the pheasants that you do. Yes, uh, I help out with the Perm uh, Sportsman Club, and we're going to be selling pheasants again. Uh, I should be having it on uh, Craigslist by the time. Uh, this year will be the same price as last year. For chicks, it will be 40 cents a piece, minimum of 50, and for eight week old birds, at $3 a piece, minimum of 10. And how many birds we got put out last year? Well, uh, we, there was about 10,000 birds that were put out between both of our chapters. That's a phenomenal thing. So I really appreciate you being on the show, Andy. And of course, Come to the Sportsman's Club raffle. You see one of the members, get your ticket. You can't win without a ticket. Stop and, and see Tanya here at the Frazee Municipal Liquor Store, or Ashley at the bank, or any one of the club members. We have tickets available. And with that, we'll be right back with Spotlight on Frazee. Welcome back to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ludke, and I'm here today with at the Frazee Liquor Store with Tanya Maston, our liquor complex manager. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Hank. Always a pleasure to see you. Yeah, you too. Um, we got some things coming up. Um, in March, we're going to have our St. Patrick's Day party, which is going to be Saturday, March 15th. Um, we're going to have party to go karaoke from 830 to 1230 here in the bar. Um, and Hank will be making his famous corned beef and cabbage that night. Um, we'll probably start serving that around 7 o'clock that night here in the bar. 
All right. And, and of course, yeah, who's doing karaoke this time? I'm um, party to go. Kelly Reller, same one that we usually have. He's really good. People really seem to like him. Um, our St. Patrick's Day party has always been a pretty good time around here. Get a lot of people out and about. So come on down and eat some corned beef and cabbage and have some fun. All right. What kind of drink specials are you having? Um, I think we're probably going to have um, Miller Lite bottles for two seventy-five all night, um, and then E and J brandy for three dollars. And of course, at the same time, we've got the Sportsman's Club event right next door going on at the same time so there's going to be a lot of people around here so come on down and see what's happening around here anything else going to be happening in the month of march that you got coming um we have a few specials in our off sale like we normally do um any purchases over a hundred dollars in our off sale you get 10 percent off that's an everyday thing um other than that just stop on down and see us and then of course uh any what's happening in april anything's um, in April, we are actually going to have the Frazee Fire Department auction. That will be in the event center April 12th. Um, and also that night, we will have Party to Go karaoke on this side, too. So that's coming up. And if anybody wants to donate, you know, for the Frazee Fire Department, it would be much appreciated. Well, we appreciate it, Tanya. We appreciate all you do with the community. And, of course, keeping the doors open on our liquor store, which is uh, one of our main profits that keep on going back and helping with our summer recreation and other projects that go along in the city that municipal liquor stores do provide. So if you have a municipal liquor store in your community, support your municipal liquor store because it helps offset your taxes. And once again, remember the Frazee Sportsman's Club. Remember St. Patrick's Day. And... Come and see us on here at Frazee. And with that, we'll be back next week for another segment of Spotlight on Frazee. So, pet the dog, hug the kids, kiss the wife, and wave hi to the neighbor. And we'll see you then.